What's going on there, everyone? Well, this is a rare uh, show of uh, emotion from Donald Trump. Now, because it is him accepting someone's apology and actually talking good about them after they've done something to wrong him, you know, uh, we don't see this often. But the media, I guarantee you, will, will not even talk about this. So let's get into the story. Trump accepts apology from fired aide Madeleine Westerhout. A very good person, he claimed. From the Daily Caller, President Donald Trump stated he accepted an apology from fired White House aide Madeleine Westerhout, calling her a very good person in a Saturday morning tweet. Noting that Westerhout had called him to apologize, the president wrote that he fully understood and forgave her and expressed his intention not to enforce her confidentially, or confidentiality agreement, unlike others he is suing, including disgusting and foul mouth Armorosa. We all remember her. She went in there, um, acted like she was a, a loyal Trump administrator, and um, yeah, she was just trying to write a book to smear him. So we saw that with a lot of people. While Madeleine Westerhout has a fully enforceable confidentiality agreement, she is a very good person and I don't think there would ever be reason to use it, Trump tweeted. She called me yesterday to apologize, had a bad night, I fully understood and forgave her. I love Tiffany, doing great. Now that is not something we see from the president usually when someone leaks. Because this administration has had to deal with leakers probably more than any administration in, in recent history. But, yeah, that, I mean, this is kind of stunning to see the actual human side of them. It's a good thing. I'm not, I'm not faulting them for it at all. It's just, wow, you know? Maybe some of those naysayers that he's so uh, brash and all this all the time, maybe they'll see this if, if they were to actually look at more conservative news sites, which we know they don't. The data proves it. Uh, they would see that he's not this crazy monster that's out to get everybody. Yes, I am currently suing various people for violating their confidentiality agreements. He continued, discussing a foul mouth of Amorosa is one. I have gave her every break despite the fact that she was despised by everyone and she went for some cheap money from a book. Numerous others also. Westerhout's bad night included having a few drinks and leaking to reporters during an off-the-record conversation that the president supposedly perceives his daughter Tiffany Trump as overweight. With Tiffany Trump, the only thing overweight about her is she's kind of got a big face. But he is her father, and it is kind of a parent's uh, thing, you know, keep your kids healthy. I can't stand seeing fat kids, but she's not a kid in his mind. Of course, she's a kid, but in reality, she's a grown woman. The comments uh, allegedly leaked by the Washington Post's Philip Rucker resulted in her abrupt dismissal on Thursday. Commenting to the press uh, Friday, Trump called Westerhouse comments absolutely false and a little bit hurtful. That's where I want to get to, really. This hurt Trump. This, like... Um, it actually got to him, this particular situation. She, uh, Westerhout, she's been there since pretty much day one of the administration. She's been there longer than most. And, uh, yeah, I think this one actually hurt him. I think he actually got his feelings hurt. And But you can see also from this that when he truly gets his feelings hurt, he doesn't act out in rage and, and this, that, and the other. He, 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 he was very measured in how he handled this situation. That's something, we, you know, through media and all this, you don't get to hear about or see much. You don't get to see that side of Trump. Because they're usually just touting him as some crazy, loud, evil man, you know, orange man bad. They're stuck on that. Trump derangement syndrome is real. But yeah, it was just an interesting story, and I and I thought it was it would be good to bring up and show the more human side 
of Trump that you know we just don't get to see because the media never portrays that side of him. Won't won't portray that side of him. But yeah, someone actually hurt his feelings, and you can see it, and you can see the humility he has towards this person. Just a just a kind of a good story. Kind of made me feel good. It should make everyone else feel good too. Like I said, he's not some crazy brash pompous ass that everyone uh, claims he is. He's actually he's actually got a heart in there and he's got emotions. And for that, I give him a lot of credit for being able to not show those emotions when he's on the public stage. He shows strength. He's he's a he is a bull among snowflakes. But I'd love to hear your comments, and as always, like, share, and subscribe. I will catch you on the flip side.